Hello and welcome to A Shot of Wildlife. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the little egret. Little egrets are a small member of the heron family, standing at 22 to 26 inches tall. They have a wingspan of 35 to 42 inches and weigh 12 to 19 ounces. Aside from their black legs, bright yellow feet and pointed black beak, they are white over their entire bodies. In the breeding season, little egrets develop long feather plumes from the back of their heads and necks and decorative feathers on their wings. It is these feathers that are in part responsible for the little egret's interesting history in the UK. Some research suggests that up to the 16th century they were not an uncommon visitor and it's thought they may have even nested in the south of England, but then something changed. They were widely hunted for their feathers and meat, and with temperatures cooling, their European range shrank and they became rare over most of Europe and were only very occasionally seen in the UK. That was until 1989, when around 100 young birds arrived on the southern coast of England. Breeding was confirmed at two separate sites in 1996, and the birds have gradually spread and increased in numbers ever since. They are now living across the whole of England and Wales, and over a large portion of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Little egrets can also be found over most of Southern Europe, in some parts of Australasia and South and Central Asia and Africa. They feed mostly in shallow water, where they ambush and then swallow whole small invertebrates and fish. Sometimes they can be seen using their bright yellow feet to disturb the sediment or aquatic weeds and then grabbing any creatures that try to swim away. They will occasionally also eat small mammals, amphibians and even birds if they are quick enough to catch them. Little egrets usually start breeding at two years of age when a pair will form from March onwards and begin to construct a twig platform nest. This is usually in close proximity to other egrets, grey herons and sometimes even great cormorants. The nest can be in a tree, bush or reed bed and where the birds live coastally they will also nest on cliff edges. Once the nest is complete, the female will lay greenish blue eggs every one or two days until a clutch of three to five is formed. The eggs measure four and a half centimeters long and are incubated by both parents from when the first is laid. Incubation takes just over three weeks and when the chicks hatch, also at one to two day intervals, they are covered in white down. Both parents bring a ready supply of food which they swallow and then regurgitate for the chicks who grow quite quickly and are ready to fledge at 40 to 45 days old. The young birds will stay close to their parents for several more weeks whilst they learn to feed themselves and after which they may disperse from the breeding territory. Each pair will only nest once per year and if they are successful they usually remain monogamous for life. For most of their range, little egrets don't migrate but in some places, particularly in mainland Europe, they will head south for the colder months, sometimes going as far as Africa or even southern Asia. In other places, where they are resident, egrets will sometimes move away from their nesting colony to spend the winter in places where they are more protected from weather extremes and where food might be easier to find. In the UK, little egrets aren't the only white member of the heron family. You may also see great white egrets that are much larger, almost the size of a grey heron with longer necks and yellow beaks, and over recent years the country has also been colonised by cattle egrets, which have yellow beaks, lighter coloured legs, and in the breeding season have yellow feathers on their heads and backs. There are currently an estimated 1,100 pairs of little egrets in the country, with more than 12,000 overwintering here. Their numbers are still rising and they continue to spread across Scotland and Northern Ireland. They have an average lifespan of five years, but the oldest known bird survived for 14 years, two months and three days after being ringed as a chick. Little egrets can make a variety of screech-like noises, 
including this. Well, there we go. If you enjoyed this video, then you probably also like this one here about grey herons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.